When talking about body modifications, you may automatically think of implants, tattoos and piercings. But body modification through dress is part of the very history of fashion. What happens when your passion for fashion goes one step too far? In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're looking at the graceful shape of the wasp waist lady, aka Ethel Granger. Ethel Wilson was born in 1905 in Cambridgeshire, England. In this day and age, there's no shortage of ways to reinvent your body. Minor upgrades like Botox and fillers aren't terribly sensational, and even liposuction has become perfectly acceptable. Of course, there are people who go to extremes to change their appearance for the sake of beauty. Ethel Wilson was one of those people. Ethel left school trained in dressmaking and from a young age she would take great pride in making her own clothes. At the age of 23, in 1928, she met and married William Granger. She was an average girl at the time, but eventually she would become famous for her outlandish fashion choices. There's a lot to unpack in the story of how Ethel Granger transformed from an average woman to the woman she ultimately became. The story starts with her putting on a corset to please her husband. You see, her husband, William, loved small-waisted women and expressed his appreciation for corsets and his wish to feel one around the waist of his wife. Ethel had a pretty small waist to begin with, at just 22 inches, 56 centimeters, but one day she did indeed agree to wear a corset. Having a teeny tiny waist hasn't been a fashion trend for quite some time now. Nowadays, women are more into comfort and the ability to move freely when it comes to fashion. But her story isn't about fashion really. It's about love without limits. It's about sacrifice, suffering and devotion in the name of beauty. To please her husband even more, Ethel started wearing corsets daily and began tightening them more and more. William began purchasing smaller corsets to diminish her waist and requested that she wear her corset 24 hours a day, which she eventually did by sleeping in them. This deformed her lower ribs, pushing them closer together and causing her trademark wasp waist figure. Over an extended period of time, tight lacing, as it's often called, causes the size of the wearer's waist to shrink as the internal structure of the lower ribs begin to warp. The effect of tight restriction on the lungs is particularly troubling. The lower portions of the lungs are prevented from expanding fully when taking a breath, resulting in extra strain. Another serious problem caused is atrophy of the back muscles and pectoral muscles, as the corset structure does the work of keeping the wearer's back straight, which, in turn, leads to greater reliance on the corset. By far the most startling result, and the reason Ethel Granger is considered a modified marvel, is the movement of her ribcage. The strain of the corset over time was actually enough to deform her lower ribs, pointing them downwards and collapsing them towards each other. The liver is pressed upwards. As it continually renews itself, it adapts to fit its new position. And can even develop ridges where it meets against the ribs. In the old days, women were willing to wear very tight laced corsets because it was in fashion, like the Empress of Austria, who was famed for her tiny waist. But Ethel's waistline far surpassed that. Ethel's 22 inch waist shrunk by 3 inches, then by 6 inches, eventually shrinking by 9 inches in total leading her to be called the Wasp Waist Woman, or simply, the Wasp Lady. In 1939, Ethel Granger was added to the Guinness Book of World Records for the smallest waist of a person with normal stature. In a little over 10 years since her marriage, Ethel managed to reduce the natural size of her waist to a staggering 13 inches, 33 centimeters, 
shaving a whopping 9 inches off her original measurement. Ethel Granger made a lot of sacrifices in the name of love. She died in 1982 at 77 years old. And that's the end of her story. Almost. You see, in 2011, the Italian version of Vogue magazine dedicated their September issue to Ethel. And while her achievements are quite impressive, they are very much sad as well. The true beauty of a person is not about the way they look, the shape of their body or the type of clothes they wear. It's the inner beauty of a person that is more important. Ethel's story is one which demonstrates through the aid of corseting an example of how fashion can physically change a person through extreme body manipulation. It's impossible for us to say for certain whether Ethel went to the extreme she did to show her love or if William manipulated her into these body modifications. Regardless, she remains the woman with the smallest recorded waistline in history. And there we have it, the graceful shape of the wasp waist lady, Ethel Granger. People can do crazy things when they're in love. In some cases, their actions look sweet and romantic, but in reality, they are totally insane. If there's one thing we can take away from this story, it's that there's no reason to try and fit in someone else's beauty standards or to try to look perfect in another person's eyes. How about you? Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today. But I'll see you all next week. And as always, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marbles, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.